Before you start moving, you'll need to know how to steer the vehicle. Basically, the steering wheel controls which way the front tires are pointed, which controls the vehicle's overall direction. Successful steering starts with the grip. Remember, your hands will be at either the 9 and 3 o'clock position or the 8 and 4 o'clock position, using a symmetrical grip. Most of the time, you can steer with your hands in this position, following the road, changing lanes, handling curves, even swerving when you have to. Turns are something else. For gentle turns, you use push-pull steering. One hand pushes up while the other pulls down. For sharper turns, the hand-over-hand -hand technique is best. In hand-over-hand -hand steering, to turn left, you start with your hands between the 8 and 9 o'clock positions and turn the wheel with a series of cross-arm movements. Both the push-pull and hand-over-hand -hand methods can provide continuous control, but the push-pull method tends to be less fatiguing, and with both hands almost always on the wheel, it helps the driver maintain control in the event of an emergency. Also, since your hands are never placed directly between the airbag and your face, there's less chance of injury to your face, hands, and arms in frontal crashes when the airbag inflates than with the hand-over-hand -hand method. You may want to try each method to determine which one works best for you. Now, we're ready to move off. The first step is to move the shift lever. This lever controls the transmission, which transmits power from the engine to the wheels. Sometimes it's on the steering column. Other times it's on a center console. When the vehicle is parked, the transmission will generally be in P for park. Most cars will not start unless the transmission is in park or neutral. D stands for drive, which allows the car to go forward and automatically shift up through the gears to allow the same engine speed to make the car go faster. Most of the time, you'll just leave the transmission in drive. But when driving on a steep downgrade, moving the shift lever down one gear may help slow the car without having to ride the brakes constantly. Next is R. No, R does not stand for race. It stands for reverse, which makes the car go backward. Let's get going. After you put the transmission in drive and the way is clear, you're ready to move. The control that regulates speed is the accelerator. It regulates the flow of fuel to the engine, controlling acceleration, which is the rate at which the car speeds up. Be sure your foot is on the brake before shifting to drive. In most vehicles, the lever won't budge unless the brake is applied. After putting the vehicle in drive, you release the parking brake. Check to make sure traffic is clear and then gently depress the accelerator pedal. Keep your heel on the floor and, using your ankle as the pivot point, press down gradually with your toes. As the car begins to move, you can gently press down a little harder until you're accelerating at the desired rate. When you reach the speed appropriate for conditions, you want to ease up on the accelerator until you're just maintaining that speed.